Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. It's been a few months since we saw the return of native instruments to the DJ scene with Tractor Pro 3. They are moving things forward still though. We have Tractor Pro 3.1 here now. That brings with it some fixes, some improvements and some features which have been requested for a long time. Let's take a look. It's worth noting firstly that by the time I came to install Tractor Pro 3.1, Native Instruments had already released 3.1.1, as the first version had some stability issues on OS X. 3.1.1 has been totally stable for me on both OS X and Windows. And whilst we're talking about Windows, it seems that the latest updates for Windows 10, 8 and 7 actually completely break compatibility with the Control S4 Mark II. So if you rely on that hardware and use Windows, you need to be aware of that. We'll link to that information in the description below. As for the good news however, the headline new feature of 3.1 is the addition of parallel waveforms after many years of user requests. Like in Rekordbox, they're located above the track decks as opposed to below, which is the Serato DJ Pro layout. You have plenty of zoom options, although like in other software you do eventually reach the limits of waveform rendering if you zoom out too far. It's also possible to select which decks have the big waveforms too, which is great. If you use decks C and D for things like remix decks or live inputs, you're not wasting extra screen real estate for empty waveform slots. This is not a layout which I'm that interested in using personally. I don't use it in any software, and I've always liked using Tractor's phase meters. But I know a lot of people love those big waveforms, and so this is a superb addition to Tractor Pro, especially if native are trying to win over users of other platforms. Another new layout they've added is the single deck view, and this one I will be using a lot. When preparing tracks, adding cues and tweaking grids, it can be a little fiddly doing it on a regular track deck. Well, now you have the option to have a single deck going across the whole screen, which should make such tasks a lot easier. I'm a big fan of this addition. Smaller changes are in there too, besides the expected bug fixes and that kind of stuff. You can now duplicate deck layouts, which will speed up making new personalised ones. You can custom map the S8 and D2, which is cool as they're still being supported even though they're discontinued. Native Instruments have also added tool tips to preferences so you can see what exactly each function does. And there's another big one for me, non-destructive file handling. This means you can finally set Tractor to not overwrite any metadata tags in your files. I have a lot of AAC files in in my library and ever since I started using Tractor I found that analyzing and using those files in Tractor after using them in Serato DJ basically wiped out my Serato beat grids and cues. Neither Serato or Native Instruments could explain to me why that happened and so for that reason I've always used an entirely separate set of files in both apps which is obviously a massive hassle and a waste of drive space. Well now after testing with that option set to write no tags my files in Serato DJ Pro are completely unaffected and I can finally have one folder of music for all platforms. Genuine life-changing stuff. And finally, along with this update came the promised new firmware for the Control S4 Mark III, which adds a standalone mode, along with a couple of other changes like increased headphone volume and a tweak to the haptic engine. The standalone mode is definitely welcome, as it means you can use the S4 Mark III as a mixer with filters without having your computer connected. It's not entirely smooth changing from software to standalone mode, but quick enough to get you out of trouble in the event of a crash. I also found the Phono preamps to be much, much hotter in standalone than in software pass-through mode, which brought its own issues with electrical interference and so on. I found my internally grounded 1200s to be basically unusable with it. I'd love for Native Instruments to tweak those preamp levels in the next version, but the standalone mode still remains a great addition. So there you go, a quick look at Tractor Pro 3.1. Obviously not as massive an update as the previous one going from 2 to 3, but nonetheless, some good new features in there, some stuff which people have been waiting for for a long time, some solid bug fixes, and I'm still very happy with the direction that this software is going in. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell icon down below to get notified anytime there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.